Hello and welcome people and loyal fans, it is the king of the death battle nation, Jeronki, and I welcome you all for another episode of death battle. But before we start, the last episode blew up and got me like 20 subs, thanks. Back on topic, today we're covering Hugh from Breaking Bad slash Better Call Saul versus Paleoloxodonomaticus from real life. Let's find out who wins in a death battle. The town of Kusharta had a hero, a saviour, and his name was Hugh Babino, a man with a heart the size of Lake Ponchat Rain. Legend goes that Hugh once saved dozens of people inside of a burning church. He was at his peak. However, after some hilarious blunders on his part, Hugh started working for lawyer Saul Goodman as a pickpocket. After proving himself to be useful in eating Kim, he got promoted from a lowly pickpocketer to Saul Goodman's trusted bodyguard. Hugh's best weapon is himself. At a massive 230 kilo, he can easily overpower most humans, such as Jesse Pinkman, who survived a two-story fall, and Mike Ermantraut, who survived crashing a car at full speed. Hugh isn't afraid to use real weapons, however. He effortlessly one-shotted a police officer with just a sandwich bag, and he has a pistol on him at all times. Now, just because Hugh is huge doesn't mean he's slow. He instantly brought a baseball bat to a complete stop mid-swing and he scales to Walter White, who reacted to a semi-truck moving at a speed of 605 kilometers an hour. He's also vastly superior to Tuco, who survived this massive explosion barely damaged and a bullet directly to the heart. Hugh's greatest asset is his steel patience. After getting involved in some slightly illegal business, Hugh was stopped and forced to stay in a safe house. The officers never returned, however, and Hugh sat still for an entire nine years. Hugh was eventually let out of the safe house, and he now lives a free, happy life in New Orleans doing what Hugh does best. Whatever that is. Hugh, are you happy? Reasonably. Mother Nature has given Earth some amazing creations throughout the years, like dogs, monkeys, or me. But some animals just decide that they'll be big. Enter the Paleocene period 5 million years ago. Some stupid order of animals called the Proboscidea evolved into elephants, and bada bing bada boom, we got the largest land mammal on record, the Paleoloxodon nomadicus. Paleoloxodon nomadicus is also known as an Asian straight tusk elephant, because it was Asian, it had straight tusks, and it was an elephant. It was closely related to African elephants, except much larger. At 22,000 kilograms, it was the largest non sauropod land animal to date. This means it should massively upscale from basically every animal, like modern elephants who can effortlessly throw cars around, survive gunfire, destroy huts in a single hit, and instantly kill Indians. Modern elephants can reach top speeds of 11 meters per second. Paleoloxodon is over three times the size, meaning it should obviously run at a speed of 142 kilometers per hour. This paleontologically accurate image also depicts the elephant levitating, meaning that they were wholly incapable of flight. It has been also stated that when elephants fight, it is the grass below that suffers. This means that Paleoloxodon maticus does not suffer injuries when fighting itself, and it shows us that it scales above itself. The elephant's only weakness is that it's extinct. Alright, I've analysed our fighters. It's time for a death battle.
I guess we now know the real reason they went extinct. Paleoloxodonomalicus was a tough match for Hugh. It was immune to bullets and had a massive size advantage. Scaling above itself, Paleoloxodon was over 22,000 kilograms, a hundred times larger than Hugh's 230 kilograms. Let's compare the strength. As previously established, Paleoloxodon is three times stronger than modern elephants. So Paleoloxodon instantly killing three Indians is comparable to Hugh eating Kim. And the elephant flipping cars around is comparable to Mike's full speed car crash. Paleoloxodon one-shotting three small buildings is actually higher than Tuco's fake meth explosion. The difference here, however, is the fact that Walter is massively superior to Tuco, and Mike is massively superior to Walter, and Hugh was hired to defend Saul from Mike, so with this totally accurate scaling chain in mind, Hugh has a strength advantage. Now let's top it off with speed. Paleoloxodon may have a running speed of 142km per hour, but it falls quite far behind Walter White reacting to a truck moving 605km per hour. So this was an extremely close match, Paleoloxodon had the range and size, but Hugh's strength and big speed advantage gave the hero of Kushata an edge. The winner is Hugh Babino. <laughs> Next time on Death Battle.